Yes. This is the ticket that they punched, so one of the uh, equipment managers gave it to me. And it's uh, their ticket to uh, March Madness this year. So. Matt Magnani up bright and early to welcome the winning team home. I thought it was important to come out, and I knew that it was like almost 4 in the morning, so there wouldn't be a lot of students. So if I was up, I was going to go, and I stayed up. Head coach Keith Dambron stepping off the bus this morning, still relishing in the Duke's Atlantic 10 championship win. You know, when something like this happens and it hasn't happened in a long time, it's, it's, it's almost like getting a monkey off your back. And that's really the reason I came here. My dad was a former uh, player here, so I just wanted to try to help Duquesne become what they used to be. And let's see that trophy. We'll bring that yeah. trophy over here. We want everyone to see that. It looks pretty good. University President Ken Gormley with a new sense of pride. Big moment, not just for Duquesne, but for the whole city. We're proud. We're hearing from people all over the country. It's a big deal to get in the dance, and we're in the dance. Students and faculty say their team is dancing all the way to the end. The whole thing. I mean, we, we have to assume we're winning the title. Just so proud to be part of Duquesne University. I'm going to have them until the final dance. The team seeded 11, making the NCAA tournament for the first time in 47 years. You know, now we champs and, you know, we still got more work to do um, and we're excited to get back to work. The Dukes will have their first matchup of March Madness this Thursday at 1240 p.m. in Omaha, Nebraska against BYU. Reporting at Duquesne University, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.